Greetings. Welcome to another episode of We Are The Church. This daily moment of encouragement is brought to you by the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. A very good Monday to you friends. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson. I'm really grateful that you stopped by for this handful of minutes. It's a great way to get our week off on the right foot. Today I'm reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. Jesus has been teaching and uh, telling parables to a great multitude, and we pick up at the end of a long day. On that day, says the Gospel writer, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, let's go across to the other side of the lake. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in a boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose and waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. And they woke him up and they said to him, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and he rebuked the wind and he said to the sea, peace, be still. And then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. And Jesus said to them, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe. And they said to one another, who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? And Jesus said to the wind, and to the sea, peace be still. In the Greek translation, it's actually quite a bit more um, provocative than that. He said, be shut and put a muzzle on it. Um, and that's about what you have to say when the storms of life start crowding in all around us. It's the start of a new week. Maybe you've had a good weekend. Maybe you've had some quiet time as you power down for the weekend, but maybe now you have a big schedule in front of you and lots of, uh, appointments and meetings and other things crowding in and pretty soon uh, we can find that the demands that people are making on our lives can come rushing in. Just the demands of life itself, of, of getting by in this world, can come rushing in and uh, like wave after wave after wave breaking over the side of the boat and just beginning to pool up around your feet. Um, it can be quite daunting. Plus we're living in a very noisy age. You walk into a shopping store and the music is turned way up loud so that you can hardly talk to the people that you're with. Restaurants these days have very loud chairs and they're sliding around and people are shouting and yelling and the music in the restaurants is even louder than the music in the stores. Maybe you have the radio on while you're driving down the street. Maybe you have the news on in the morning when you're getting dressed or you have the television on at night while you're eating dinner. We're being assaulted by noise. And I, I live near a busy street. And sometimes uh, people who've been working all week in their garage to make their cars louder decide to test their motors as they're driving by outside. What are we to do with all of this chaos and this noise and the bustling around? Well, that's why we take moments like this, isn't it? So that we can, with Christ, say to the noise of the seas and the, no and the noise of the wind, and the noise that's just all around, peace be still. But I have a question for you on this Monday morning. What do you do when you are able to silence the world just a little bit, get away, get quiet, and then it turns out that the noise inside of you is even louder than the noise outside of you? You wanna know a secret? The same one who can command the wind and the waves is the Lord of all creation, and that means he is able to silence that which is inside of us as well. Maybe the best thing we can do at the start of a new week is say, God, I've got this churning concern inside of me and it won't stop. Would you send your spirit to speak to the wind and the waves to quiet me down for just a minute? Because I'm going to function a lot better when I am still at the word of Jesus. Let's pray. God, we need the stillness. We need the quiet. We need you to speak to that which is roiling inside of us and make it calm. Give us your peace, O oh Lord. Help us this day 
to walk hand in hand with you through the power of your spirit. And even though tasks and meetings and appointments and just the general concern we have for the world will come try to crowd in on our life. Would you give us a sense of stillness in the midst of all of our external demands so that within us, we may be people of peace. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, at least we're not walking alone out there. We have God's spirit with us. And Jesus said, I am with you to the end of the age. We claim that promise today. I want to thank you for stopping by. And I want to remind you, you can find these little moments of encouragement every single Monday through Saturday right here on this YouTube channel. And on Sunday, if you are not in worship elsewhere, you can worship with my congregation right here on this same YouTube page. In the meantime, our motto, our marching orders, our three simple rules by which we live are do no harm, do all the good you can, and stay in love with God. Do that, and I'll see you here tomorrow.